And tonight we're also continuing to follow the tragic news of the passing of an East Carolina University legend. Jeff Charles, known as the voice of the Pirates, passed away Friday while he was on a road trip in New Orleans with the men's basketball team. The team then headed back to North Carolina and now everyone across Pirate Nation is feeling the impact. On your sides, Aaron Jenkins joined us live from Greenville tonight with more. Hello, Aaron. Yeah, I can. There's a tribute flying in from all over right now. We're at Dowdy Ficklin Stadium where there is a tribute on the Jumbotron right behind me for Jeff Charles. He's the voice many say won't ever be forgotten. There's the snap ball down. The kick is up. The and voice. The it became so familiar from to many. Three yards out. You can paint this one purple. Growing up, you know, all I'd hear was, you know, Jeff Charles on the, on the radio. And on the way coming into town or leaving town, you always heard that. And he was a staple in my life. His voice and uh, him as a, a radio personality uh, is synonymous with uh, this community, with East Carolina athletics athletics with the university and then I would say all of Eastern North Carolina. Those who knew him say he knew what it meant to be a pirate, whether over the radio waves or just in life. His level of passion uh, for ECU athletics and uh, you know just the way that he uh, carried himself on game day. Him as a great broadcaster one but just an incredible human being that is what I'm going to take away from my time knowing him and it's what he fought through to make sure he lived every day to its fullest you could hear it when you heard one of his calls and you knew it every time you talked to him. Corey Glore spent six years working for baseball at ECU. He's now the director of broadcasting at Tulane. He was eager to see Charles on the call in Louisiana when he heard the news. There's just a, a gut punch. It was the fact that, you know, yeah, I, I was incredibly eager to see him. But, you know, you could walk around Greenville and you can just say the voice and everyone would know we were talking about. It's because that was him as a person first. And with a quiet stadium now, everyone says the voice will always be remembered loud and clear. It is Jeff Charles territory. And, and so uh, he had a tremendous impact on all of them. Uh, that impact is being felt today uh, and it will be felt for a very long time. Right now, the athletics department says they're working with the Charles family to set up details on how his legacy will be honored and celebrated. We'll share those details with you as soon as we know them. Live in Greenville, Aaron Jenkins, 9 on your side.